Hello and welcome to the week in tech. This was the week that Disney Research unveiled a one-legged robot that looked suspiciously like Winnie the Pooh's mate Tigger. Google's AI branch DeepMind revealed a new algorithm capable of teaching itself to navigate the tube, amongst other things. And BMW unveiled this self-balancing motorcycle concept that they claim will be so safe riders can forego the helmet. It was also the week that South Korean tech giant Samsung announced it would permanently cancel production of its flagship Galaxy Note 7 smartphone. This was after it was unable to fix a problem that saw batteries in some handsets bursting into flames. Samsung had previously recalled the device, but when the replacement phones also caught fire, they opted to pull the plug on the whole thing. And here's a story that hopefully won't result in any U-turns. That's a pun, very funny pun. Researchers in Milton Keynes have tested a driverless car for the first time on UK streets. The trial saw a two-seater pod drive just over one mile through the town, avoiding pedestrians and cyclists and reaching a giddy top speed of just under 10 miles an hour. The team said that the project would now feed into a larger programme of trials across the UK. It was also the week that Sony's PlayStation VR went on sale. The new headset is Sony's rival to the Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. It's cheaper, but can it keep up with high-end PC rivals? Click's very own Mark Chislak has a full review on the BBC News website. And finally, researchers from Lund University in Sweden have created a 3D replica of a house from ancient Pompeii. Using laser scans of the area, objects and wall decorations, academics built a digital recreation of the home of a wealthy banker. He died nearly 2,000 years ago after the catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius.